We did Homes for the Future earlier on the year, and that was a very, very detailed uh, consultation on the type of housing, where, um, etc., uh, covering all aspects of development. In this consultation, we wanted to concentrate on only one aspect, which is the housing numbers, which we feel key to you and the borough. And as a consequence, we felt it appropriate to just have a binary question. We think we, we're right because um, the amount of responses we've received have been overwhelming. The Homes for the Future was 1,500. Now we're into tens of thousands. In fact, it's probably likely to be in excess of 40,000. So the strategy was right. The original executive paper was up to £80,000. It is extremely unlikely we will spend £80,000. That would depend on the whole of the borough replying and by post. The likely outcome is going to be £50,000 or less. However, having said that, that's a lot of money and it's not something we've done lightly. A primary platform of this administration is the reduction of the housing numbers target, which currently stands around about 900. We believe that it should be around about 500. If we can achieve any mitigation of those numbers, I will be very, very pleased. There's no guarantee that we will be successful. In fact, there's no guarantee that we'll be successful at anything. But we need to do our best to achieve the objectives that we've set out to achieve. And the objective that we've set out to achieve is to reduce the housing target. Housing targets are almost by their definition are, are, are variable and they're not materially going up. Uh, they're not materially coming down, but the uh, statistical base upon which they're based seems to suggest the growth in population is uh, coming down at the moment. Statistically, according to the government, we need somewhere between 450 and 525 homes a year. Unfortunately, the housing targets build in what they call an economic factor, which uplifts that uh, 500-ish to round about 1,000-ish. The uplift is uh, designed to lower the house prices by oversupply. Unfortunately, to, we are not in control as a borough council of the supply. The developers are in control of the supply and they won't build unless they can sell. So we never reach a position where house prices go down. In fact, they're going up. So we need to deliver about 500 homes a year. Wokingham Borough is a semi-rural borough which is well connected to Heathrow, to Reading, to London, Slough and Bracknell. People want to he live here because it is leafy, it is, it is, uh, the services are very good, the schools are good and if I could say they are serviced by a very good borough council as well. We want all of you to respond. The, the highest level of response that we get, the more meaningful the consultation is. So please, please, please respond. There is no meaningful uh, lower threshold. However, I would say that now we are in the tens of thousands and up above 40,000. It's a very, very simple consultation which is binary. Our tactic is to um, 
send it out by post and hopefully people return it by return. In most cases this seems to have happened and seems to have been successful. Uh, we are considering whether we should uh, lengthen the um, consultation but probably not because uh, the results of the consultation are tailing off. Um, we've got to 40,000 plus and hopefully you will reply if you haven't but I think after a couple of weeks they will tail off completely.